Hello world, this is Dennis, and uh, a couple weeks ago I posted a video of a temporary shortwave radio antenna setup uh, until I could figure out something better, and I did. I uh, did some research online, I did a search for a simple shortwave antenna, and on the website, um, I think it was Eham Universe or something like that, um, or Ham University, I can't remember exactly, I'll have to look it up again, but um, anyhow, uh, one of the suggestions that they gave for a uh, simple uh, shortwave antenna setup is uh, something called a fan dipole. Um, they said you could either set it up where you have the line, your uh, legs going horizontal, or you could do a inverted V, which, you know, for the situation I'm working with right now, that works out quite nicely. So, as usual, you got the center insulator up there in the tree about, oh, 15 to 20 feet off the ground. I know ideally it should be 30 feet, but um, I'm working on that, uh, seeing how I can get my antenna set up higher. Um, in the article I read, it mentioned that it showed having um, eight legs, you know, four on each side. This one, it's just four legs, um, two on each side. Um, just because um, <laughs> I didn't have enough wire that were the same lengths, and ideally you want the same length wires, so um, that's why I used um, the longest of the wires. Um, they're uh, 40 foot length. I got one going out there to the post, and then the other one here um, goes to the tree over there. Um, with your uh, basic, you know, dog bone insulators. Uh, those are both 40 f uh, foot length wires. And then I got two shorter link lengths of uh, wire. Um, they're about, uh, trying to remember here, about 13 feet in length, if I remember correctly. I can't remember the exact length, but. Um, those were what I was using up in the attic at the old location for the uh, um, attic uh, dipole antenna. So, to recap, I got two 40 foot, um, 40 foot length wires and then two approximately about 13 length, foot length wires. And that's my uh, fan dipole antenna setup. Um, like I said, I know ideally this should all be up higher in the air, but, you know, for now, this is as good as I can get with the uh, tad, you know, throwing a rock up in a tree and, you know, trying to get up there. Although, I'd have to say, if working at a cheese factory, um, the strength of my arms has increased, so I'm able to chuck the rock um, farther, so that works out. Oh, yeah, and then this over here, the... Uh, rock with the wire, that's what's holding the antenna up in the tree. I gotta get maybe like a shepherd's hook or just a metal stake to drive into the ground and some maybe like bungee cord because I don't know how well this will work, but you know, <laughs> that's just, basically this is just all to get me, you know, on the air airwaves listening. So. Let me know what you think of this antenna setup. Um, I'm going to try contacting uh, Greg Hammond Shortwave Radio on YouTube and uh, see if he can do a video um, doing the computer model showing how well this antenna works on the different bands like he did last year with my old antenna setup. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, peace and all that good stuff.